why he's given up. Ladies, you're stuck in a relationship where your man is just not stepping up and leading, taking responsibility for things inside the relationship. That's a tough place to be. So why isn't he leading? Why has he quit on you? Like he used to chase you, right? And now he's not chasing you. So what's going on? Well, the problem is that when men try and try and try, like in the honeymoon period, okay, you know, they're just all over you. They think you're wonderful. He's buying you flowers, taking you out on dates, doing all the right stuff, totally focused and present with you. And then, like I described in, you know, if you haven't watched my video on stages of a relationship, go and find that. Go and watch it. And what you'll see is that we move from the honeymoon stage to what we call the normalcy stage, you know, when now it's kids, house, move in. And then we move to the distraction stage. Now, work and principally kids take a lot of time, a lot of attention away from each other. Now, by this point, he's been trying to satisfy you. But now you're feeling the burden of carrying the weight in the, in the relationship and responsibility for everything. Your mind never stops. It's always going. And he's like, I'm doing all this stuff and all I'm getting is criticism. And you're not criticizing. You're just coming to him and pointing out what needs to happen in the relationship, the problems inside your lives together, inside the kingdom. The king and the queen are equal, but the king and the queen are not the same. And inside the kingdom, he's feeling like nothing he's doing is hitting the spot for you. And after a while of constantly getting this negative feedback, of you never being happy, you being stressed a lot of the time. And rightly so, because you are carrying, you know, the emotional responsibility. But he's getting a brick wall. He's not getting much love. Maybe he's getting sex, but he's not getting much love and connection back. And that for a man is very frustrating. And after a while, he's going to get to the point where he just goes, you know what? I can't make her happy. She's just never happy. And when he reaches that point, He'll still stay in the relationship, okay, because he wants the relationship. But emotionally, he's quit. And ladies, you're probably feeling that. You're probably feeling that he's resentful. He gives you the cold shoulder at times. He's uh, very reactionary and angry and got, flies off the handle at the smallest thing. Well, that's because he's reached the point where he's emotionally quit trying to make you happy. Now, you being happy is not a priority for you, but it is for a man. Why? Millions of years of evolution. As a woman, you weren't happy. No babies. So plugged in, wired into men is this desire to make women happy, to have them happy. You don't believe me? Go and ask a room full of um, aware men and they will say, yeah, absolutely, we want my part. I want my partner to be happy. It's built in biologically to all men. But he's feeling that you're not, and the things that he's doing is not making you happy. He's going to quit, and you're going to come up against this brick wall. Now, I would suggest you can have a conversation with him about the dynamic or even show him this video. Better ways to book a discovery call, and we can help guide you through and help lead you through a conversation around this block that you've got in your relationship right now. And you'll be stuck in resentment too, right? Because now he's quit, so you're feeling pretty peed off as well. And if you don't know what peed off means, it means pissed off, okay? Angry, upset at him. And that's not a good place. That's not a place you want to be. So break through it. Have the convo. doesn't work or not going well. Book a discovery call via the link on my TikTok profile.